They were giants in the earth. Genesis 6, 4 In fairy and drama, you were in a dream that some other mind is weaving, talking on fairy stories. Two-thirds of him is God, one-third of him is human. The Epic of Gilgamesh in the Kovacs translation. Those are epigraphs to my 16th book, Saren of the Wildwood, out in hardcover and paperback from Wise Blood Books on March 6th. The book is beautifully illuminated by my friend Clive Hicks Jenkins. Here's a little peep at some of his work. Two little boys. Something that might be a fairy or an angel. The Wildwood is a place whose time is not our time. And Saren is a child born on the edge of it, betwixt and between. Even before she is born, the poem begins because her birth is tied up with deaths. When she goes finally to Wildwood, having been long lured, she will have adventures. She will meet danger. She will find transformation in a story that is also a poem, a mixture of blank verse and medieval bobbed wheel rhyming verse. I'm gonna read just a little snip. This is the first chapter before Saren is born, after the prologue. I could get the page right. Never speak your passions by the wildwood. The heedfulness that might have saved their lives from harm was torn in two, and afterward they were dismayed, bewildered by surprise. The father looked as handsome as a dream of elvishness, a man whose element seemed fire, his aura crackling energy, his potent green-eyed glance a stream of sparks. The mother softer, secretive, blue-eyed, her element not fire but water, force that mines the roots of mountains, flies to clouds. Was he too proud a flame, too rich in youth? Did she demand too much in quietness? Or did their beauty lure the wildwood stare? Of course, he was the one to speak the words, sudden, wrathful, turning on the children, two little boys who leaped in reckless joy, and never thought of punishment and doom. I wish I had a daughter, not you boys, who shut your ears and are no help to me. The edge of things is always dangerous, and trees may shelter eyes and ears that do not care to please. The shade where something hears, the dark where something sees. Saren of the Wildwood. I hope you go adventuring with Saren and have lots of nice green thoughts along the way. <laughs>